Peace, love, and light, my dear Gemini, Tony Flames. <clears throat> Welcome to my channel, I'm Butterfly Tell and it's out of Butterfly. And I'm here to give you this unique Twin Flame 7 Chakra reading. I create this reading for the Twin, cl claim. <laughs> twin Flame community. <clears throat> Apologize. I'm always clearing my throat. I will be fine. I could talk all day long, no problem. As soon as I get on camera, my throat starts acting up. I guess because, you know, I have, I have to do a duty, a job, and maybe it's anxiety, I don't know. I don't think, I think I'm cool with y'all now. I think my anxiety is gone. Alrighty, here we go. So, um, this is what I'm going to be doing. Um, so this is addressing the seven chakras, you know, the seven chakras of your body. But this is dealing with your twin. Um, some of their situation with their if they're with a karmic that might come up in this reading um so i'm going to be using my uh, uh healing light tarot for the base chakra the solar plexus and the crown chakra i'll be using my um mirror uh twin mirror deck uh dialogue deck for the throat chakra for a heart chakra i'll be wearing uh using my power of love tarot and um, for the third eye chakra, I'll be using Romance Angels, okay? And for the sacral chakra, I will be using Sexual Magic Tarot. I do not read this deck in reverse. Um, I have a larger deck of this, but I lost it. <laughs> I got it back at the beginning of August. It was gifted to me, and I can't find it, so I went out and bought a mini deck. And it's cute. It's a cute little deck. But uh, those cards, I will not be reading in reversals with those those cards and i will be referring to the book because it's not like traditional tarot the meanings are quite different and um they leave the reader the you know it has this base meaning but you know it's up to us to bring out the full understanding of the, of the cards okay so let's get on into this reading my dear gemini's Twin flames. So the base chakra is like what's for me in this reading, what's keeping them where they're at. Like, what is it that they're dealing with that uh, they can't see that's causing them to not move forward? What's going on in their life? Okay. Like, this whole thing's going to be talking about what's going on in their life, but I want to know what's keeping them from coming forward and uh, you guys being together. So, in my mind, it's like the base chakra is like, how do you say, you know, sitting on your hands or sitting on your butt? Because <laughs> that's where your base chakra is located, at the, the uh, base of your spine. Or your, uh, yeah, your, yeah face your spine your buttocks whatever you want to call it Oops, so tell me what's going on with Gemini's twin flame in the base chakra chakra king of wands in reverse you might be dealing with Leo Sagittarius or an Aries. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Let me see if it's the tea. Yeah, I, I drink a lot of tea before I get started so that my throat can be clear. And it seems to never work. <clears throat> as soon as I turn the camera off, I'll sit and I'll have no issues. to see what else I'm gonna like right now it looks like this person's just not ready to settle down um they're dealing with some issues they're uh, I don't know if there was a karmic it's not telling me that right now uh this person may have some 
uh, temperament issues because you got the king of wands. You may be dealing with a Leo Sagittarius on Aries and the page of swords in reverse. You may have cut this person off like you put a wall up between you and them because they were most likely they kept running from you because I got the, the knight of wands. So you may have cut this person off. I have the world card and I have the five of cups. So if you didn't cut them off, they may have cut you off. <clears throat> they may have cut you off. Where um, that runner chaser thing, I hope you can see the cards. Yeah, yeah you can see them. Well, that runner chaser thing. Hold on. I'm just trying to make sure there's adequate enough light. <clears throat> so it looks like possibly either he, I say he because I see the King of Swords. I, I take this all as masculine energy because that's all that's coming up. So you may be the Divine Feminine. But um, it looks to me like uh, this person ran from you. They're not, they were, They ran from you instead of settling down they ran from you or you may have run from them but somebody definitely cut somebody off and blocked them and there's some sadness regret and remorse and also this five of cups can be speaking of uh, guilt you know one feeling guilty for what they have done because they feel like they caused the world card an ending we're not talking about an expansion. We're talking about something that is over. Hold on. Let me pull this back again. Okay, I'm back. So, um, what I was saying is, is that it looked like, like this person may have run from you and, um, caused an ending and that they're, they're, they're feeling a great deal of shame right now. For what they have called, uh, for what they have done, we're gonna see once we get to the um, throat chakra what's going on there. So let's go to the sexual magic tarot to see what it says, how they feel about you and their sacral chakra. Tower, Page of Wands, Eight of Cups, Three of Swords, and, or not Three of Swords, Three of Wands, and the Eight of Wands. So I'm going to go to the book because, like I said, this is not like traditional tarot. It's not very long. You know, us as a reader, it leaves us open to the um, interpretation. <clears throat> I wrote down the major arcanas just because it makes it easier. So we have the tower. Oh my gosh. So that's why this is here like this. Betrayal. That's why these are here. Okay, we're going to get to that. That's why the Five of Cups is here. Betrayal. 
they may have caught you with somebody else or you may have caught them with somebody else. They feel betrayed. Page of Wands. Abandoned. That's what happened. I was saying that here. Okay, okay, abandon. Oh my goodness. That's so crazy. Eight of Wands. Sabering. Three of Wands. Kissing. And the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups in traditional tarot talks about being unable to walk away from something emotionally. Let's see what it says here. Bashfulness. Huh. Maybe, I mean, this is not even talking about having any, like, type of Nine of Cups. It's not talking about any type of, like, like fantasy or desire. It sounds like this per this person may have betrayed you or they feel st you know this isn't your sacral chakra they may have caught you with somebody else or you may have caught them with somebody else so they may have betrayed you and the eight of cups or nine of cups is euphoria all right, so it's saying, all right, to me, that they care about you, but they feel as though that they may have betrayed you with somebody else because they were the king of, of wands, that they were in and out of your life and they wouldn't commit to you and they were possibly being a player. And that had, that's what caused the breakup between the two of you. You know, the runner chaser situation. That they just weren't ready to settle down. And that they caused major, um, they caused it a major ending in your relationship. Now with this page of swords. I got the page of swords here and I got the page of swords here. So maybe they're spying on you. And they see you moving on with your life. <clears throat> and how you seem to be. Putting off the uh, facade that you're enjoying your life. Not to say that you cannot be happy without your twin. Because, you know, some people choose to, to be with a soulmate and not a twin. You know, because of the uh, amount of agony that one goes through on a twin flame journey. So, it could be that they betrayed you. And now they get to watch you from afar. Enjoying your life. And now they're longing for what you used to do with them, okay? And they're like, you know, cherishing the moments. They're having uh, memories of you. That's what I'll say. But it's they're seeing you move on with your life after they've betrayed you. They did something to you. They broke, I said they broke your heart, obviously. We got the Eight of Cups here. What was me? Um... But that also talks about some a form of guilt. So what's going on? What is it that they fear? In their solar plexus. They're 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 afraid. Oh wow, they owe you an apology. Five of swords in reverse. This is very interesting. Two of Cups that popped out, these both popped out in the reverse. The 
they're afraid to apologize for, for breaking up the relationship. They know they broke the relationship. They know they did you wrong. Oh my gosh, yeah. So it's going to take a lot of strength for them to come forward. They're afraid. They want to apologize, but they're afraid. They're afraid because if they put their, if they apologize, then they're they're making themselves um, vulnerable, you know. And they're they're afraid that uh, if they come forward to apologize for how they hurt you, that um, you you may not you may decide okay, so what? I don't want to hear that. So obviously, this person doesn't know who they are to you. They know about the relationship, but they don't know who they are to you. They don't know that they are your twin. So they're, you know, acting out 3D type of, you know, the 3D situation. And not understanding that it's much deeper than that. Okay? So I have the Knight of, of Pentacles and the Strength card. Yes, they're, they're afraid. They want to, it'll take a lot of strength for them to come forward to offer this apology to you. And they're afraid that if they if they do come forward, you're still going to uh, leave the situation as is. You're not going to uh, allow them to come back. You're not putting any work in on the situation. Okay? That if they come back to, it's like they come back to apologize. They're not just coming back to apologize. They're coming back to apologize to offer you something. Like to see if you could try again. Okay, and this is not something that's going to happen no time soon. I'm talking about like, I say no time soon. The Page of Wands is a slow knight, but he's a, a tried and true knight. When he comes along, he make sure, he'll make sure that he takes care of everything. Like, you know, when he shows up, the bills are going to be paid. He's going to be loving on you right, you know, and you won't have to worry about this, this, this knight because this knight is a secure person. He may be. Now, I wouldn't say that this person is younger than you. I'm just saying that they have this Knight of Page energy, meaning that they want to offer you something solid and stable, but they're afraid that if they come forward, it'll be um, <clears throat> a, worth, a worthless effort. That's what I'm trying to say. They're afraid that it'll be a worthless effort. And when they finally do come forward, it's going to take a lot of strength for this person to do this. Your twin is going through an ego battle right now. So let's see what's in the heart chakra with the power of love tarot. So there was some betrayal here. I believe from what I'm seeing that um, <clears throat> this person ghosted you possibly. Um, they did something. They were being a player. You caught them with somebody else. And... You know, the, the connection that you guys have is extremely strong. But um, instead of them owning up to what they did, they ran. They ran, they cut you off, and now they feel regretful for how they treated you. So this person owes you, they feel as though they owe you, sorry, owe you an apology. They know that they owe you an apology, cause and effect. You are aware that the love you create in your thoughts is an agent of change and the foundation of your results. So cause and effect. I, that, I look at that as that they're, they're dealing with the cause and effect of what they have done to you. Yes. Hmm. Compassion. You demonstrate the language of the heart by activate, actively sharing and living love. Compassion. Hmm. Their heart's going through something right now. Detachment. You are releasing old patterns and ideas that no longer serve your highest ideal of love. So as I'll say that this person is going through a, a heart transformation. And that's exactly what it is. I just want to see what the next one says. Discernment. 
You are developing the skill to distinguish love from fear and truth from illusion. So this person has a lot going on in their heart chakra right now. And that's why they want to come back to apologize because if it seemed like this person was an unfeeling person, it's saying that no, it's not that they're not an unfeeling person, they were a selfish person. And they realize that their selfishness has gotten them nowhere. It's gotten them nowhere and it's gotten them nothing that is tangible. So they ran away from themselves only to find themselves longing for themselves. So they're going through a lot right now, okay? And <clears throat> you don't have to be with your twin. I'm telling you, you don't have to be with them. You can take the gifts that were given to you through that. Decide upon being with a soulmate and let this person be. And you continue to grow and glow and do what you got to do. Um, because <laughs> sometimes twins are toxic. And um, <clears throat> you don't have to uh, settle on on that. If it's too much for you and you don't want to deal with this journey, and that's up, totally up to you. It doesn't make you a bad person. It means you're severing your contract. And that you don't want to do this anymore. That you don't want to be going on another twin go round. So you sever your contract in this life and then it's over. You don't have to worry about reincarnating and meeting each other and running throughout many lifetimes chasing each other. This is it. Just grow and glow and ascend. <coughs> I'm sorry. It, it, uh, I just, hold up. <coughs> I'm amazed how my throat always does this when I start recording. I guess it's, it's like your throat chakra and so much trying to come through you that it, it gets all cluttered up. So what would your twin like to say to you, my dear Geminis? I believe you're the divine feminine, but you don't have to be. This could be a same-sex relationship. It doesn't have to be. It's now like I'm like so intrigued because I'm going here and now going back to here and then I go here and it makes perfect sense. It makes perfect sense. That this person is going through a lot of regret and they're watching you from afar live your life. And they betrayed you. They were most likely playing on you. You know, you may have caught them with somebody else. And they know that they betrayed you. And it's like now they get to watch you and they're longing for you now. Now they realize that it wasn't worth it. Whatever it is that they were doing was not worth it. Please give me another give me another chance. Didn't I just say that? God damn. I just said that. Ooh, snap. Ooh. When we were together, I feel I mean when we when we're together, I feel alive and time stands still. That's that longing down there. I am avoiding my feelings. It just seems easier. I'm afraid to open my heart. Bow. Oh my gosh, that's too much. One more. I worry about you moving on. Ew. Ew. You can't make this up. This is perfect melody. This is a perfect melody. I love this reading. I created this reading, y'all. I love it. I'm sorry. This will be a permanent fixture on my channel. I love this reading. It's a timeless reading, too. <clears throat> Now, what's going on? Let's see what their, uh, the third chakra is saying. I'm using Romance Angels for the third chakra. You know, what is it that the, the third, uh, their intuition is saying? How do they feel? What is their conscience? Not, not their conscience, their intuition. What is it that they know on the deepest level of their, uh, their soul and their psyche? What they need to pay attention to or what they may be going through? <clears throat> make the effort love yourself first and let go of control issues they could have been controlling separation sometimes I pull, pull more than I should but I'm look at that separation a time apart from your partners on the horizon um
Well, you're already separated, so are they with somebody else? Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. So, oh, separation. It could be that whatever life that they were leaving, living, their, their player life, whatever it is that they were living, it's time for them to leave that behind and make the effort to come towards you. That's only if you're open to it. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. That's what I was talking about down here. Like not trying to rush a situation. They can't just expect to come back and say I'm sorry and things to be alright with the world. Twin or not, they still have to prove themselves to be a trustworthy person. Alright, we're going to close this out with the crown chakra. So what is it that your twin is thinking about in their crown chakra? <clears throat> Power, star card in reverse, the lovers. <clears throat> mm -mm -mm. Five of Wands and the Three of Swords. This person wants you back. Your twin wants you back. They know they have destroyed their relationship with the fighting and the conflict. They want you back. They love you. Oh my gosh. They want a reconciliation. The lovers. The tower card. This person's going to come back when you least expect it. They're just going to take you by surprise. Only thing is, is that they, they have little hope that it's going to work. Uh-huh. reason why I say that is because of the five of swords. This person loves you. They want a reconciliation with you. Your twin wants you back. They know they messed up. So they're tr this this looks like a plan that when you least expect it, they're going to come back. But they have the fear, like I said down here, they have the fear that if they come back, that it's just going to blow up in their face. That you very well may not take them back. That you very well <clears throat> make this very hard for them. And you should. What I tell you, three cups, they want to re reunite with you, Gemini. Your twin... It's coming back when you least expect it. And um, they need to apologize. They want to apologize and try to make it right. They see you moving on with your life. It's, it looks to me like they're a little jealous. Um, because they see that you bounce back. They know they did you wrong. And you bounce back from the situation. <clears throat> you may be on social media. I'm sorry. <clears throat> You may be on social media and they're watching you from afar. They know that they betrayed you and they're a little jealous here. This tower card, that's twice the tower has shown up. But this tower card talks about betrayal. But it also looks like jealousy as well. That I do believe that this person is going through some bits of, of jealousy because they see you moving on and now they want to try and hurry up and get you back before you leave completely and that's totally up to you so that is my reading for you I hope you enjoyed it I'm sorry for moving the camera around uh, and all the little bips and bops that were happening 
but I just want to get this reading out to you. And um, isn't that funny? I'm done with the reading and my throat is clear. That's crazy. Wow. I guess it's the throat chakra. You know, all that's trying to come through me to tell you what you need to hear. My throat is literally free. That's crazy. So, uh, yeah. This will be a permanent reading on my channel, depending on the, the I like it. Uh, let me know how you uh, feel about it. Uh, like, comment if you choose to. And um, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. So I'll catch you in the next Twin Flame reading, my dear Gemini Twin Flames. To Amula Habi is Twin Flame in Arabic. My to, to Amula Habi. To Amula Habi. That's it. To Amula Habi. On your Twin Flame journey, I'm here to help you along on your Twin Flame journey. Let me get off this camera because I'm just going to keep rambling. As I always say, peace, love, and light to each and every one of you. From my hot chocolate to yours. Catch you in the next reading. Peace and so much love. Thank you and goodbye.